The simplest thing a woman can do when she's trying to bring sympathetic drive down to improve body composition is to have some good protein and a little bit of carb within half an hour of waking up. Cortisol has this bad rap, but our body responds very well across the day. That's how we're able to bring our heart rate up. That's how we're able to be alert. We have a peak that comes about a half an hour before we wake up because that's the body naturally waking up and you're in a catabolic state. If you don't do something to bring that cortisol down, specifically some protein and some good carb, you're going to stay in this catabolic state. Instead of, like in men, if men stay in a catabolic state, it upturns testosterone and lean mass. But for women, it just perpetuates lean mass loss because lean mass is very metabolically active. And the hypothalamus is saying, hey, I need some nutrition to get through this little bit of stress of waking up and starting the day. And I don't have any senses of carbohydrate coming in. I don't have any senses of protein coming in, but I need some amino acids. I need some glucose. So it starts breaking down and signaling to break down lean mass. So when we complicate it, by someone getting up first thing in the morning, going to the gym, and they're already in this catabolic state, and they're signaling, oh, I want to build fitness. But the brain is saying, no, I want to break it down because I need some of the parts in order to keep continuing. A lot of times women are like, I don't understand why I'm not getting fitter. It's because you're fighting this natural rhythm that your body undercurrent is in a survival mode. Every morning you wake up, it's like, okay, what's going on?